Hi, this is Vicki Gopher Parnell. And I have come to share a word of the Lord that I received today at 3.59 p.m. Um, again, I was praying and interceding, and, and this word came forth. It is titled, These Are Those. These are those words. Before we start, let's pray. The Holy Spirit, don't let me pray. Don't let me speak or do anything that's not of Jesus Christ. That's not of Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray and ask. I ask to be placed under the barrier of stealth and invisibility. <coughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. And there will be no retaliation, backlash, interference, communications, or any such like thing. In all your knowledge, God, of every form that you know of, the enemy might try to utilize. In all your existence, that means past, present, and future, and all that you feel. It says you you fill the earth and the heavens. That's everywhere. I'm good with that, Lord. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Father God in heaven, I lift you up and I give you praise. There is none like you. Jesus Christ, I give you praise. You are my lovely Jesus Christ, lovely but all-powerful and invincible. All power has been given to you through Father God, into your name, into your being. You are the Word, the Word made into flesh. You were with Father God in the beginning. That is what it says, in the form of the Word. At some time, you were created, placed into the womb of Mary. To live as a man on this earth, both God and flesh. I thank you for your sacrifice. I thank you for everything you were willing to do for your children. I thank you, Lord, for being willing to die for this whole world, even though you knew not everyone would accept you. Amazing love. Amazing love. Now, Lord, all traps, triggers, booby traps, all such like all witchcraft is crushed broken, reversed, and renounced, and all spirits it's been assigned, including the spirit of witchcraft. There's witchcraft that the enemy works in, which is the summoning of demons to do their little nasty deeds, and then there's the spirit of witchcraft, which is, which is manipulation and such like. I bind them both in the name of Jesus Christ. Any demons that's been assigned against me, this ministry, my family, the groups, Father God, signed against, assigned against any of the sites, anything pertaining directly or indirectly to me and my family and this ministry, in Jesus Christ's name, I rescind everything back, standing on Proverbs 26, 2. The curse causes shall not come, meaning that I am rejecting your ill-spoken words. I am commanding them to return to you because I do not receive them. Go back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. I have learned Jesus Christ is all-powerful. Kingdom of darkness, you are not. Father God has placed in Jesus Christ all legal authority in this firmament. Supreme authority over everything. Every fallen angel, every good angel according to is it 1 Peter 3.22 or 2 Peter 3.22 says that Jesus Christ is over the angels. So Lord, I stand on your word. He's, he created all. He's Jesus, you're everything. You're everything. Now, Father God, also, every form, again, of communication that they would try to use, that includes binary code, software code, programming, you know, computer language, all that garbage is here by broken. All your loops are broken and sent back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You know who I'm talking about, Bilal. You know exactly what I'm talking about. In Jesus Christ's name, you are bound, and these things go back to your systems in Jesus Christ's name. And every other person being, I bind off fallen angels, demons, and Nephilim that would interfere and such like. Not casting them out, not casting the demons out, because you have an agreement and covenant with them and you do not want to be delivered. But I can bind them, and I do in the name of Jesus Christ has been assigned against us. And the fallen angels that I can bind and throw into the abyss, and if you need to get them out later, Father God, so be it. Standing on Jude 6. To him, to those, the angels that have left their first estate. They left their estate, their own habitation. 
to live among the women, to fornicate, to defile themselves is what they did. They defiled themselves. They are unclean in the eyes of God. Sin is the cause. Jesus Christ is the answer for those that will accept him into their heart. The fallen angels, they're not redeemable. They send out a time. Jesus came into this firmament so we could all choose him if we so choose. He paid the sin debt for every single one of us. The word transgression means to pay, to make payment. And Jesus himself, when he was doing the supper, said that this is for the transgressions of the sins, of your sins. The payment for your sins, the forgiveness and payment of your sins. That is what the word of God says. And Lord, I thank you for giving me understanding of that. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise. Send this out north, south, east, west. In Jesus Christ's name. Now let me say, that is not going against the word of God. I asked the Lord, there was an issue that came up and somebody was saying that Jesus Christ, did, Jesus Christ did not come to pay the sin debt of every person. Because if he paid sin's debt, then you know he did not need to be crucified. It, it was all this thing. But I asked the Lord, I said, no, Lord, you've told me, you paid the sin debt. He took me to scripture after scripture where it says transgression. Do the word study. Why am I saying this? Do the word study so you will know the truth. Transgression means payment, to make payment. So what does that mean? Jesus Christ came and paid the debt for all of us. And he explained it to me this way. For example, you have somebody that purchases, buys, pays for you a brand new car and is sitting at the dealership. All you have to do is go get that car. If you choose not to, that car is still yours. It's still sitting there and paid for. But you have chosen not to get it. That payment is still paid in full. Such is the way with Jesus Christ and his payment for sin. Salvation is a gift. All right, this word came forth, 8-15-24 at 3-59. And I recommend and I ask you, do the word study. When you start looking up like transgression in all these words, when you see a word like that, do the word study. Not only I look up definitions, regular definitions, I go to the concordance, I go to Bible Hub, I go to um, Blue Letter Bible, because sometimes they have different things. I want a full understanding. What does the Greek and Hebrew word mean? Because there's differences. And it's so you are not deceived. You try, test, discern everything. You prove everything. You line it up to the Word of God. And if it does not line up with this Word, when you start pulling every verse, not one, not two, every verse, and it doesn't line up, reject it, spit it out. It's not good. But you do as Holy Spirit leads. I'm just giving you my opinion on spitting it out. I am not going to ingest anything that I can't find lining up in my Word of God, in the Word of God. Pray about it. Take to Jesus Christ in prayer. All right, this word came forth. 8, 15, 24, 359. Holy Spirit, don't let me speak a word again. It's not of Jesus Christ. To the faithful, I say, you have been found faithful. Prepare to leave. I come for my bride that took time to clean themselves up, to seek me, to try and test, to learn of me, who set their sights upon me and focused on me, instead of arguing about this doctrine and this doctrine. Daughter, you're not to contend. So bride, my bride, my bride, here I come. Hallelujah. It is the time. It is the last hours and the minutes. Excuse me. It is the last hour and the minutes are ticking down. So many have laughed and scoffed and discredited my word. Soon they shall see and behold the truth of my word. 
which will drive for the enemy to pick it up and remove it. As prophecy after prophecy is fulfilled that has been written. Many who say, Lord, Lord, I will turn away and I will reject. Many who say, Lord, Lord, excuse me, Lord, Lord, will be found dirty and I will leave behind. Repent now while you can. This age ends. I will not be stopped. My words will not be stopped. My words shall go forth. The enemy cannot stop them, no matter how they try. And in my children, my words are like burning fire. Burning fire. And they burn with the truth of my word inside them. These are those who spend time with me in prayer. These are those that seek me. These are those that lay aside the things of this world. These are those that don't think they're always right. These are those that come humbly to me and ask my Holy Spirit to lead and teach them because they really, excuse me, because they realize they don't know it all. The big majority of my churches are walking around saying, I know it all. I've got it. This is it. When they never leave time or delve deeper into my word to get the further revelation of what it means. Oh, foolish people. Children, this is a time of great delusion. And while you're pointing your finger at someone else, it points right back at you. Get the motes out of your eyes before you try to get it out of someone else. I am speaking to my children, to my children that cut down one another. They say they're right within the, whether they're right or not. I'm speaking to my children that cry, Lord, Lord, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not heal the sick? Did we not feed the poor and hungry? But your hearts are far from me. Having a form of godliness, but truly, truly, truly denying my power within. This is where you're at. This is where you are at. Repent and repent now. Repent and repent now. This cry goes out to the world while, you're st while you still have time. Excuse me. repent my door of grace shuts it's shut grace is extended your grace to live on this world grace to live in this world I created grace for those that will come to come and repent grace for those still to come is extended grace to my children is extended but you stiff-hearted, rebellious, stubborn, unrepented children of mine that tear down one another, that raise your hand and sing hallelujah, that shake and jump in another spirit than mine. Like my own. His own children. I've had enough. I'm done with all the mock this mockery. It's what it is. Even your very lifestyles mock me. I say I shall supply all that you need. Yet you go and you buy those 50 dresses that you don't need. You have 40 pairs of shoes you'll never wear. You have 18 pairs of blue jeans you'll never wear. All of them. You have 18 pairs of blue jeans. You'll never wear all of them. Why aren't you feeding the poor? Why aren't you helping the lost? Why aren't you reaching out to the beggar? Why aren't you trying to reach the prostitute, that prostitute, and share my gospel? Why are you so fixated on pleasing your own self? Children, children, your genes are going to fade away. 
Your dresses are going to fade away. Your shoes, your cowboy hats, your golf clubs are going to fade away. Your computers and technology are going to fade away. And what will you have? The only thing that matters is the condition of your soul. And many of your souls are tainted and dirty. I see what's inside of you. I see. To those who are really trying, to those that are struggling, but are really trying and really have the love for my Father and me in their hearts, I will help you. Hallelujah. And I will lead you. But I'm talking to the self-righteous, hypocritical Pharisees, Sadducees of my churches of today. In and out of the church. Repent. While you're walking with your head stuck up in superiority, people are going to hell. This world is about to erupt. I have given the command for the detonations of these suitcases, yet you still play around. Repent. 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 Because many of you are going to be inside these explosions. Many of you have failed to leave when I moved upon your heart to leave. No, I have not identified every place. You are to trust my Holy Spirit. You are to trust my Holy Spirit. Some are called to stay. Some are called to leave. Some are called to die. But many who were called to leave stubbornly refused to leave their homes. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Disobedience is ill-gotten seeds. So many of you shall lose your lives and you will lose your homes. This is what happens when you do not pray and seek me for every little thing. This is what happens when something comes up and you don't know if it's 100% true or false, true or not, excuse me, when you did not even stop to check and ask me or my Holy Spirit to lead you to Scripture to prove or disprove this, to try to ask, to discern, to prove, so many of my children have not moved out of harm's way. I'm calling many home. Prepare your hearts in me. 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 Excuse me. As I stand, excuse me, as it stands now, all 11 will go off. One in D.C. will not. So I'm at the suitcases. As it stands now, all 11 will go off. One in D.C. will not. When I have heard the prayers of my children and I have moved many out of the way, I have lessened the potency of some of them out of mercy and hearing my children cry. This is judgment. It will not be stopped. This is righteous judgment on Babylon the whore, Babylon the unfaithful harlot, who was once my bride, who was once my chosen nation beside Israel. You were called to be a city on a hill. You were called to lead other nations to me, Jesus Christ, to my Father. Father Jehovah God or Elohim, Yahweh, whichever name you choose to call him, they're still one and the same. Children, I deserve 100% of your heart, not 25, not 50, not 75%. I deserve 100% of your heart. And by loving me and surrendering all to me, I promise you, you will have more love for those you call dear and friend and family. Daughter, I have sat and watched my children for centuries, and I mean centuries of your time, 
squabble and argue over the least little thing, even like things of where to put what in the church or what kind of PA system or what kind of songbooks. Daughter, that does not matter. What matters is the presence of God in this place. Is my Holy Spirit operating in this place? Can you feel the Holy Spirit pull and draw and convict and heal and help and comfort my people? Most cannot. It starts tonight, daughter. It starts tonight. That's how you ended it. Thank you, Lord. I recommend you study the, the word tonight and also day today because they go together. Because that means it could be this very night or it could be the, the end of the today he's been talking about. Pray about it, though. Here are the verses. <clears throat> Excuse me. Isaiah 1 16, 2 Corinthians 17 1, 2 Timothy 2 14. 16, 23 through 26. Titus 3, 9. Proverbs 29, 11. Isaiah 55, 11. Luke 6, 46, 49. Galatians 6, 7. Revelation 19, 7. Matthew 5, 14. 7, 1 through 8, 13 through 29. Philippians 4, 19. Isaiah 58, 10. Psalms 146, 7. Matthew 25, 34 through 36. Ephesians 1, 17, 19. 2 Thessalonians 2, 11. Proverbs 3, 30. Philippians 2, 14. I ask that you pray about this. Take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, Holy Spirit, lead me. I want to say this. And I know some people don't think that I am. I am teachable. And I am learnable. And anytime anything comes up, or something's brought up, even if I... Inside, I said, that's not right. I will stop and I'll say, Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. If I'm wrong, you teach me. Show me your truth. I don't want to be misled or deceived. But I also know I don't know it all. This word of God keeps opening up with more mysteries and more revelations. So even in what I do know, I have to allow it to be opened up for more revelation as we're in end time days and things are being revealed. I am teachable. But if what I pray and I get and discern wrong, and then ask scripture to back it up, and it still discerns wrong, I am not absorbing or taking or ingesting. I'm spitting that up out as garbage in Jesus Christ's name. But I do ask the Lord every time, and it's one of my prayers every day, Father God, almost every day, in Jesus Christ's name. Wherever I'm wrong, write me. I am in a flesh body. You know, I said this before. We, we are made out of flesh. The earth was cursed and we're made out of dust. What does that mean? It means when you're born, you're born under that curse. It means you will die now. The curse is the sin. Sin. When sin entered the earth into this world from Adam and Eve, Holy Spirit lead me, then no longer were they going to be living eternal. Death entered. They started dying. Adam and Eve. Everything started dying. Everything was cursed. Everything changed because of sin. So even when you, when you are born into this world, you are born with that sin nature. You are born under a curse of sin. You're going to die. But Jesus Christ took the sting from death away, meaning when you accept him into your heart, you will no longer be sent to a hell, 
a Christless hell, but you will have at the you will have an eternal home with Jesus Christ, the Father God in heaven. There's no more sting and no more fear of death for a true child of God. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is that? Because we're going where we long to go. We're going to be with Jesus Christ. We're going to be able to look upon his face who was pierced for us and gave his life for us and shed his blood for us. We're going to be able to lay our crowns at his feet when it's all said and done. And we're going to be able to kiss his feet and we're going to look on those scars and we're going to be able to just finally tell him or try to tell him how much we love and thank you. So death has no sting for a child of God. Should not. If you have fear of death, you need to check yourself. Ask Holy Spirit to check you and see why. Because that's what I used to say. What's the worst they can do to me? Beat me, rape me, you know, torture me, kill me, send me where I want to go. <laughs> You're setting me free. You're going to be with Jesus Christ. I'm good. I'm good with that. <laughs> So please, when you study what the curse is, the ground was cursed. We're made out of dust. But the curse is sin. Sin. And our soul as we, you know, when God breathed into our hearts, breathed into us, we became a living soul. Spirit and soul entered our bodies. But the fleshly man is under a curse. Even when you're born as a baby, you are born under the curse of sin because of what Adam and Eve, what they did. Nothing to do with whether the baby is innocent or not. It's the facts of being born into this world. But Jesus Christ, he came to die for all. So you could be that could be broken. That, that could be broken. Galatians 3.13 said that he came break the curse Jesus Christ did so much more for us than we realize you know I was I had an incident today I want to read this excuse me Galatians 3 13 Christ has redeemed us, bought us. Redeem means to buy. Bought us from the curse. Curse is sin. The curse is sin. It talks about sin. The wages of sin is death. Death is brought into the world. Wages of sin is death is, I think, Romans 6 and 3. <clears throat> Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on. It says, Tree now at least be cross. Pray about that. I'm not going into that, but there's just so much. People would rather put their head in the sand and not acknowledge even though things have changed since you memorized it when you were a little kid. I ask that you take all this to Jesus Christ in prayer. Now today I had a little incident. Now this is this is talking about when you deal with witches and witchcraft one on one, and I do. Not by choice, mind you, but I do. Even a while back, I had taken my son and my grandkids to go swimming. And it was a, a place in Tennessee. And when we were there, Holy Spirit started speaking to, you know, this, this, these are, you know, and I was just praying. Well, we had stopped in and got a pizza for the kids. Hadn't been there five minutes. Opened up the pizza and it was covered in ants. There was, there was no time for the normal ants to come. Showing that witchcraft they do know how to manipulate things well today I went out opened my van and it was filled with ants the Lord's van filled with ants they like to use ants just so you know and I uh, <laughs> I just started rebuking it and sending it back in the name of Jesus Christ took my room took care of it you know If the kingdom of darkness through witchcraft and demonic power 
can manipulate and command these things, such as critters and things, how much more can the child of God, who understands the power of Jesus Christ, we have dominion over them? We have dominion in this world. When you're born into this world, you have the dominion that Adam had. But when you accept Jesus Christ, you also have that authority that supersedes everything else. That's why, yes, I command the mosquitoes to leave me alone when I remember. I will command you know, things, to, the flies to, birds to hush. They do. And as I grow stronger in the Lord and understand more in the power, they, they hush a lot quicker or they move a lot quicker. Because it's not me. It's Jesus Christ in me and understanding the power we possess as children of God. If Jesus Christ has been given all authority, and he says in Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you all power over the kingdom of darkness. Behold, I give unto you all power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. All the power of the enemy. All the woo-hoo-wah-hoo garbage. All their pulling of the elements. All their herbs. All their garbage. They operate in deception. The true power is Jesus Christ and Father God. When you realize he's given us all power inside this permanent. In heaven and earth. All means all. Everything. And you understand that. And we don't rejoice in that. We rejoice that our name is written in the book of life. But it's a way that Father God and Jesus Christ has ensured we can live victorious. They're supposed to be under our feet through the power and authority of Jesus Christ. We're not supposed to cower in fear to the kingdom of darkness. We're supposed to raise our shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit and defend ourselves, or march on the battle and be offensive. Oh, take the offense. Offense. Not offensive. It is offensive. Offense. See, I'm, battle terms are not real good with. But the understanding is you defend or you fight. There are times he will have you hunker down, stay here under the shadow of my wings, stay here. Till this storm passes, and there's other times he says, You gotta get out of the corner, you gotta get out of the shadow, you got to go. There's there's people at stake, there's lives at stake. You want this victory, you gotta go after it in Jesus Christ's name. Because it's a war. It's a battlefield. I don't ever take my armor off. I used to say I reaffirm it. I don't take it off. It says to put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. I put it on and I don't intend to ever take it off in Jesus Christ's name. Ever. Permanent part of me. And I will raise my shield of faith and I will quench those fiery darts as the word of God says. What does that mean? In faith I believe everything Jesus Christ said. Faith. Faith is the key. Faith. Only believe that Jesus Christ is everything he said he is and more. Only believe that Father God is is the God of all, the creator of all, has the final say of all things. Only believe that your life is in his hands. And if you will let him lead you, he'll lead you safely through the traps, snares, and whatever else comes your way. He will even, when you are disobedient, but you still love him and come back, he will still work it for your good. Hey, you messed up really big, but I'm not going to hold that against you because you've repented. This is just me saying. But here's what I'm going to do. Instead of going forward, you're going to have to go around this curve. You're going to have to take this stairway. You're going to have to do this because I've got to work you around all the mess you created. But if we listen, he'll do it because he loves us. He loves us. All right. I feel like that's all I need to say. I want you to pray about this word. Test it. Try it. Lay it before Jesus Christ. Lay it before this word of God. Ask him, okay, Lord, this is what was said. Is this in here? Does this line up? And then don't just take one verse and run. Get all the verses together. Because there shall, will be at least one more verse somewhere that is related directly or indirectly to it. All right. This is my lovely Jesus ministry. What do you want me to do? Wrap it up. Okay. The My Lovely Jesus Ministry. My name is Vicki Goforth Parnell. 
We have a website, www.mylovelyjesusministry.com. There's free information, the PDFs, words, visions, all that information is free. Please don't change the words, even the correction of the spelling. I know a lot of you like to do that. Some of these words are deliberately misspelled because of what they mean when you look them up. Like surrenderness. It's not a word, but it has a definite meaning. I guess it is now God created it. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with him. Not at all. Also, though, I have just um, created a confirmation page. Lord told me to put it out there. This is things that I have had in the past when the nasty little critters at the apartment where I was staying, still my 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 home, but I'm away right now. Um, those on site would get in my computer before I learned how to pray, wipe out all my proof and information and stuff that the Lord gave me. Well, he brought some of it back. Again, Luke 8, 17, everything that's hidden, including the confirmation about the COP27 vision and coronation dream where I saw Antichrist crowned underground secretly, had a goat's head mask on him, other things. So with that being said, that page is up. I don't know if I'm putting any more on there. So far, that's what the Lord Jesus Christ has told me to do. There's also warfare pages, articles, any of that can be downloaded free and used freely for the glory of God in Jesus Christ's name. If you want to contact me for, for a prayer email or anything like that, only way to contact me is through the My Lovely Jesus Ministry group channel on Telegram. That's it. And I'm going to say again, please do not send me personal messages on Telegram. I will only answer those the Lord Jesus Christ leads me. I don't even look at the others. And I'm actually in the process of deleting all these because I keep getting personal messages. I'm not going to take time from Jesus Christ to sit and answer all these emails and all these these people. I have sitting in Facebook over 500 friend requests. Well, 400 less. I don't. I lost count. I'm not going to come into a covenant with people if I don't know 100% God has said to do it or not. And accepting a friend request is a covenant. It is. I'm agreeing to have you become my friend so that we can agree to talk back and forth. No, that's an agreement. It's in a covenant. It's a covenant. Be careful, people. All right. Take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. God bless, stay under the blood of Jesus Christ always. I love you for those of you who have made yourself my enemy. I forgive you and I love you. I don't hold anything against you. Even when I have to stand up in this group and I have to bring scripture, I still say everybody take it and take it in Jesus Christ's name. Study it out for yourself. But I will set my foot down. And when I say this is done, if you keep on, I will follow with what the Lord is telling me to say. So please pray and ask the Lord to lead you before you act rashly. God bless, stand under the blood of Jesus Christ always. I love you all. Bye-bye.